Eastern Mediterranean, but we changed it after that. We decided to present a new hydro diplomacy, which is very important, and it needs from cooperation to collaboration. You see, we will all, all of us, we will see that what does it mean and a new hydro diplomacy is needed. Why? Why is it needed? We have to ask all these questions in order to reach our ultimate goal. Why is it needed? When to start for new hydro diplomacy? Where to start and how to start? You want to find a way. Of course, you have to work a lot. If you build, if you want to build a way, you have to, of course, work much more effort, with much more effort. Past, present, and future. A conceptual analysis, let's look at, and future of the transboundary water management. Current situation, 158 of the words, 263 international river basin plus transboundary aquifer system lack any type of cooperative management framework. And uh, the existing agreement is mostly bilateral. Third one, only half of them Half of transboundary basin have ever had a river basin organization. The other part has no river basin organization. And most of the existing agreement don't include all riparians. Only five agreements are trilateral agreement. And 99 UN Water Convention came into force. I will go a bit fast. Classical cooperation approach says Political will and the commitment are important preconditions for successful cooperation in all aspects of water sharing. Sustainable transboundary water cooperation. I would like to draw your attention to that words. One of them is, just a moment, sorry. Political will, commitment, successful cooperation, sustainable and cooperation. Will they be achievable or not? We will see. Okay. These are the concepts which is accepted by the international relations experts, securitization, hegemony, and cooperation. We need a conceptual change from classical cooperation to collaborative approach. Sustainable transboundary water management has been a collaborative issue. Why? Because it needs unity of effort, regional economic and political integration. We need a way of cooperation that strengthens regional integration. Let's look at the words again. Unity of effort. Integration, regional integration. Cooperation. Parties must perform together, cooperate, act together, helping each other in specific ways in order to achieve a mutually acceptable outcome. Cooperation needs sharing information, offering help to others, working back to help out. Let's look at the collaboration. Collaboration means that working together, co-labor, and be working together with the other partners to produce something together. To produce something together. Not the sending some information to the co-riparian states. Planning jointly, pooling resources, evaluating outcomes together. Real collaboration. What does it require? Let's look at first of all, second one, third one, fourth one, and the difference. Why do states find it difficult to collaborate? Collaboration is not easy, of course, but why? The security dilemma, mutual distrust, and the power asymmetry are putting the states away from the collaboration in a way. Why it is needed? Why I'm insisting on collaboration instead of cooperation? Let's look at adaptation to climate change effects. Is not a single play needs working together and not sending the information to the core riparian countries, but unity of effort. Second one, 
Crisis to regional and global local crisis. <laughs> Classical cooperative approach is ineffective. Creative process is necessary. Water, energy, food nexus also links crisis, affects to each other sector. New food geopolitics opened new disputed areas. This is very much important. And we don't have time to go into details all these sentences, but if you want, we can discuss outside of the room. Securitization and collaboration is the bedrock of the creative solutions and innovation. Then we need a creative solution and innovation for moving forward. What are different from 20th century? Let's look at what the 21st century brought us, what kind of terms, new terms? Okay, uh, okay. Okay, shale gas, ice melting, climate migration, abrupt climate change, beyond state level actors, securitization. These are all new. Can you manage the water, transboundary water, without taking into account all these new terms related with the new approach? You cannot. Securitization, water management became associated with security concerns. This has been termed the securitization of water resources management, which links water issues to national security concerns. Water flows transboundary. What else? What else flows transboundary? Water flows, everybody knows, transboundary. But what else? Natural resources flow transborder. There are some natural resources flows transboundary through the world. What are they? Oil and gas also flows transboundary. As more as the days go by, as the years go by, more and more. You see, forecast pipeline constructions total for the 3,000 miles of pipeline through the world. More demand, more flows. Oil, natural gas. And this brings us to evaluate, to consider the water and in somewhere, in some special areas, water and energy together. Energy politics has become essential part of the international relationship. As you know, water politics has already been. We couldn't say that, let's say, Ukraine and Russia can talk about water cooperation without solving energy dispute. No, it is impossible together because both of them are very strategical resources anymore for the international relationship, as we mentioned before. Okay, let's continue. But in some particular area, energy dependency can bring stronger cooperation. Can it bring? I say yes, it can bring stronger cooperation. You see, this area, the area is, is, is can be considered this area. Energy and the water complexes is, can, can be taken into account together in this area. If we, con uh, if we, if we, if we go into the detail, we can see that one. And the, here is the transboundary river basin, which can be applied, water politics and energy politics together. Aral Lake Basin, Nile Basin, Ty Tigris and Ephraim Basin, Senegal River Basin, and Orange River Basin. If we continue with the classical approach, that's the result after a certain time of period. Do we need hydropolitical complex? Taking into account all this explanation, yes, we need. Hydropolitical complex. What is that one? Experts say that a hydropolitical complex occurs when a nation's dependence on shared water system, both surface and groundwater, is of such a strategic nature that this dependence start to drive interstate relations of potential amity and or enmity in this carnival manner. So let's look at if there are some hydropolitical complexes area. Experts say that, international experts say that, there are some hydropolitical complexes through the world. These are some of them, you see. Then, 
a hydropolitical complex, maybe a component of the regional security complex. Regional security complex, according to some international relations experts, is a set of units whose major process of securitization, desecuritization or both, are so interlinked that their security problems cannot be analyzed or resolved apart from another. Cannot be. Then, there are some bottlenecks. Some of them, let's look at them. Hegemonic stability theory, the most powerful riparian in the basin managed to impose its own weather policies on the other basin states. Under such a circumstance, open conflict will usually occur only when this is in the hegemon's interest. This is for sure. I mean, we are, we, we, we see all this, uh, this, this decision and this, this result of this, this kind of decision in the world. Okay. That power asymmetry is a fundamental aspect of hydropolitics in the basin. If you want to solve a problem, first of all, we have to evaluate the problem in the right direction. Otherwise, we are lost in the problems. At the base, we can, we can uh, start to evaluate the problems. And after that, if this direction is right, we can do it, we can do it very, very uh, right way. OK. Water may bring peace and security. New regional security concepts from international security to regional security concept, from international to regional, I am insisting on that, from water security complex or energy security complex to water energy security complex. Energy security spillover effect, this is very much important. Regional integration on the basis of benefit sharing of natural resources and more stable region against the new threats against the new threats. For, for moving forward, we should look at from regional integration perspective, we should increase quality of cooperation and shift from water cooperation to collaboration. We should shift the water cooperation to collaboration. Collaboration has same goal, uh, same uh, vision, that kind of unity of effort. Otherwise, you can talk each other's, nothing else in the practice. You cannot move forward. So we should revise some agreements that don't cope with new external effects. You made some agreements 50, 60 years ago, and this doesn't work anymore because of under the effect of this kind of changing in the world. You have to revise it. You have to look at again. In summary, I am concluding my presentation, Mr. Chairman. Now, one minute. In one minute, I will conclude. I, I will stop. <laughs> new international hydro diplomacy need for a shift from water cooperation to collaboration in the fields of both water and energy simultaneously. Second one, the introduction of cooperation through both water and energy can change the nature of international relationship can change the, na uh, the, the, the nature of international relationship from a zero-sum game based on resource grasp to a platform of mutually beneficial interrelations. We need for a revised analytical approach for analysis of hydropolitics relation in light of the development of international collaboration in the areas of both water and energy issues in relationship with transboundary hydropolitics. Both subsidized energy prices and mutually beneficial transboundary water agreement can feed each other to build confidence in the basin. This approach will exactly contribute the stability of the basin with win-win method. Okay. Moving forward requires shared vision, shared goal, and the unity of effort, which means a real collaborative approach on the basis of new hydro diplomacy approach instead of tight classical cooperative one. No need to measure this one very precisely. 
if you look at from that side, okay, I can say to you, half of them is full of water. If you look at from this side, I can easily say that half of them is full of air. So, if you want to reach that goal, we have to think it over, not accepting everything just coming from the last century. <laughs> and we can stand up without movement when everything is in a motion around. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you.